Yo everyone, welcome back. We are here today to review a beautiful E39 M5 owned by my buddy Greg right here. We also got my man Dan here, gonna talk to us a little about the wheel setup. He's uh, the owner and operator of Legacy Forge Wheels. They're a New York City based forge wheel company right here in Queens. Greg, it's a white E39 M5, it's a year 2000. Tell us a little about it, you know, when you got it, how long you've had it. I uh, bought it two years ago from this guy in Brooklyn. It's a very rare car, I was looking for it for a while. It's one of uh, 16 white ones, one of a three with a red and black interior. And you checked this out, registry and everything, right? Yeah. Like you got the dates. I remember you sent me the info. I have, so I have like paper upon paper nice. with details, everything done by BMW. Very it's cool. a Florida car, no awesome. rust, nothing. Contact my boy Danny over here. Did he go with you to check the car? I don't know. No. I called him on the phone the night before. I told him, I was like, listen, so I M5 I want to buy. He's like, you have an E39 already? I was like, I want this M5. Yeah. <laughs> Did you have, I know you have a 528 also. Yeah. Did you have the 528 at the time? Yes. So you knew all about well, it. Well, I, I was supposed to like... work on that one first. Right. He's going to build that one. That one was dope. Yeah. Full custom system. Lowered, five speed, it's for sale. Plug, right? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, of course. I think, I, like, so many people with the E39, they always want to graduate to the M5. So, yeah, like, that's, that's everybody's cool. dream, but that oh, yeah. was my dream. Like, E39 M5, like, I was 12 or something when that car came out. Like, monster car. Yeah, so I wanted it. I called so, him, I was like, listen, I'm going to get this car. He tried to talk me out of it. Like, everything else. What, Dan? You tried to talk him out of it? I tried to talk him out of it because he already had a 528. We were going in one direction. But then when he broke down the history of the car, the M5, I knew the history of it. I was like, you know what? It's not like having a real M5. Yeah. And it's one of my favorite. E39s sure. is one of, one of my favorite body frames. So, um, yeah, I said, all right, go ahead. Do what you got to do. And then he contacted nice. me. First thing we did was we built the first set of wheels around it. He said he wanted to go wide body. He showed me some things. I'm like, yo, let's do it at OEM Plus staff. Nice. And that's when I contacted my boy up in uh, Ulterior Motives, Kixmon. He made okay. me some flares, spoke to him, told him how we wanted it. Not super aggressive, a nice radius. And they're metal like, flares that they Metal make, right? custom yeah. flares. And then I'm good friends with the guys at SNR Auto Body in Queens. Phenomenal. The guys Dean and, and Ray Senior over there. Spoke with them, sat with Greg. We wanted to keep it really clean but wide. So, you know, to the eye, you look at it, you put it next to another E39, you're like, wow, I see the difference. Absolutely. And then we did the wheels around it. We did these 18 by 10 and a half in the front, 18 by 13 rears. Four inch lip in the front, six inch lip in the rear. When you have like a teen number as the yeah. width, that's pretty bad. So, we did the wheels first and then we built the flares around it. That's what I tell a lot of guys when they're doing wide body cars, build your wheels first so they can fabricate right. the flares around it just to get that perfect, perfect It takes a little fitment. more time, but like yeah. the results are like mint, you mint. know? And the cool thing is about this car, it's factory camber. Yeah, yep. that's right? one so thing he told me. Huh? You don't have to like camber it out, which is a great look. I think it looks awesome. Not hating at all on that. I love camber, but the cool thing with this is you get that factory camber, natural camber, it airs down and it fits. So like you can drive this car like at a higher speed, really feel I'm kind of the M5 is a little bit. You I know? push the car to the limit. I hit it 140, 160. Right. Looking into shows, like, right. I tried the car, like, I stole it. I mean, it's, it's an M5, so I make it's made exactly. to drive. Exactly. That's why I respect it, because it's, it's highly modified, but at the same time, you didn't really take away you know, the performance aspect of it, you know? All right, you added some weight here and there, did cool shit, of course, but it's an M5. You can still get in, you can still rip it. It's not so cambered out, it's getting squirrely, you know what I mean? Like, you know, it's definitely dope. The car's awesome, man. It's, it's, it's a beautiful car. And I like it too, because I think on the E39 M5s, I don't think the M5s were of a wider body than the normal E39s. Whereas like you see that now in the newer M cars, yeah. the M model's wider. wider. The F80s, the F10s, mm -hmm. F90s, right? They're wider flared, right? The M2s are very, very aggressive. So that's why I think it's special to see this wide body because it's like, if they did it back in the day, like, and they did make it wider, like, it's kind of like a little insight into what kind of might that, that might have looked like back then. Like I said, we wanted to give it that real old plus look. Oh, Keep it great. clean and same thing, we came with the design. Greg actually said, show me an old Ferrari wheel, the Medina style. Like, Danny, can you recreate this? And show I can recreate it. At first, I wasn't a fan. I was like, eh. And I started seeing, I'm like, it looks real Euro. Looking at stuff overseas in Germany, they have used that wheel. E30s and I'm like you know what I can see it on E39. It's sure. been done maybe like once and not in the US. So right. I was like, Yo, let's do it. And I took it, basically the specs it out, gave it a little concave, and you see it there. So yeah, it's a beautiful wheel. It's a really nice. It's really cool, nice. man. Clean, clean. And I, I think it's important to know that if you're 
looking to build something one-off, like you can do that. Like you can kind of go back and forth with you know a customer and talk about designs, and if they have been put in it, you can kind of recreate it as long as obviously it's structurally sound. So that's cool. You know what I mean? You have a catalog of stuff that you can pick from Legacy, but at the same time, if there's an idea that you might have, you know, you can set it up and, and make it yourself, which is cool. Which I can't wait to do. I got a 91 Golf. We're trying to do wide body on it. I ordered it from uh, Greddy the Pandem kit. It's taking like forever, but when we get it, we're gonna spec it out with some Legacy wheels. So that's gonna be really cool. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, I want to do like a like. What in the boot, man? Like I know you gotta, the, you gotta come to show. Yeah, your family. Kidding, we know each other too many years. So oh, it's an honor. Too many years, dude. So super it's cool. We were honor. just talking before. Um, no, Dan, for many, many years, where uh, even back in the day, at a beautiful uh, Audi, was it A4 wagon? A4, not, right? And like, I worked in a shop, and you know, he came by and actually helped him with a set of wheels. So now it's flipped. I buy wheels from Dan. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's really cool, man. What are some of the mods that you had on it before we started modifying it? I had exhaust, right? It was on the air suspension. Yep. Nice. What exhaust is it? Eisenman. Eisenman? Fire, dude. Hell yeah. And it's cat back. Yep, yeah, just cat back. Hell yeah, very nice. No, that sounds super good, man. But it's hand built. I think that's the only exhaust hand built still from Germany. Mm -hmm. That's a badass exhaust. They make them, I think, stainless steel, yeah. maybe titanium too. Yeah. Um, yeah, badass exhaust. They're up there with like a Kropovich or Meister shaft. So Eisenman mm -hmm. is, is definitely yeah. no joke. It's dope. The LED light sits above the tips. And yeah. Any other like performance mods? The air suspension it has. It has air suspension. Air I did a tune. Nice. Um, and that's basically it. I just did the body work and that was it. After that, you guys took over. That's and it. And we just it is went what it is a little today. ham, right? Yeah. Nice, absolutely. What I love about this car, it's like kind of like custom front to back. Um, obviously the wide body. Yep. Custom handmade stuff. The headlights were really big, like, you know, yeah. part of this car, which is really cool. So I know you had explained to me, yo, dude, custom headlights are a big thing. I want to get into that. It's great because it's not like one of the new BMWs are difficult to open those lights. There are companies that do it and they're yeah. phenomenal, but the older cars are a little easier to work with, which was great. Um, we didn't modify the original lights. We did get an aftermarket set so that we can build and toy with those and keep your original ones on ice. Yeah. But you had some great ideas in, in building the light itself. So, you know, normally that light is going to be like the outer portion is going to be a low beam projector and the inner portion is going to be like a reflector high beam. What we did is remove both of those and we put uh, Morimoto by LED projectors um, in both those spots. So in each headlight, there's two low beams and two high beams, which is cool. So when you see the car at night, it has really like four lights, which is really badass. Um, we did some... Uh, RGB halos in them, plasma halos, so you can control any color in the spectrum. Um, the projectors themselves have demon eyes, which are also controllable, all through an app off your cell phone from Morimoto, which is cool. And on the phone, you can actually choose like between sources, like you could choose the halo alone, you could choose the demon eye, you can merge them together and make them in the same color or separate them, segregate them. Um, definitely pretty cool. What was really nice is, Greg had mentioned he wanted to do like some kind of etching, like have an M5 in the Halo itself, which I thought was a great idea. So Morimoto was able to do that for us, which is cool. I sent them a file, um, a little M badge, and they were able to do it. So if you look in the projector itself, you will see an M badge etched in there, which is cool. So the housing inside, I think it's painted gloss black. We deleted the reflector, did a little carbon fiber wrap in there. And then you said to add the M. Yes. I thought it would have just make it pop a little it's bit perfect. more. Yeah, it's like, like right in like the tear came duct, like a little, you know, yeah. right in the corner there. Came out, came out great. Dude, it looks great. One off headlight, man. You know, super cool. We put that online the other day. We were getting a lot of DMs about that. So, yeah, so that was awesome. Now, the nice thing is, you have like full LED headlights and they're quality LED projectors from Morimoto. Right. So, like, you know, it's nice. You know, if you're giving like a little newer style to the car a little bit in that aspect, you know, all the newer stuff comes with LED headlights. So, it's cool to incorporate that, you know. But you still retain that classic E39 look. Like, they're not too crazy looking. That's what like, everybody still... wants that E39 front. That's, yeah. That's a dream. Like, that. Because they're the car that made the Halo famous. Exactly. That's right. like the car, right? You yeah. know what I mean? Right. Absolutely. It has the E38 7 Series. There's no Halos in that car. You know, your headlights are dope, man. Absolutely. And it's all controlled from your cell phone, which is great. We have a full underbody kit from LED Glow. Yeah. That matches up to an interior LED kit for the footwell lighting. So, again, you can control them together off your cell phone. I think also Bluetooth wirelessly. Trunk. Oh, the right? trunk. Trunk's trunk. fire. The famous trunk. Yeah, the famous <laughs> trunk, dude. It's been, it's been a while, man. We, we had a couple of different ideas for the trunk. We started out strong. Um, ran into a couple of difficulties, I guess, with getting stuff made. Sometimes your I like, not yours, but in general, ideas are like, you know, sometimes it's harder to put into fruition. But, you know, we had a little time constraint too. We wanted to get the car on the road. We wanted to do everything carbon initially. Yeah. It's really difficult though. It's hard. It is really hard. It's really difficult. There is like that bezel on the bottom that is handmade carbon. Yep. Which that alone is beautiful. So. I think it it will happen for a reason because Maybe. it came out perfect yeah. with a suede on the side, everything else is suede with that one piece 
yeah. carbon. Like, it's very cool. Maybe yeah. if it was all carbon, it might just be like a carbon blob and you might yeah. not get those curves and appreciate those lines yeah. and stuff. So maybe it was good to have that like contrast, you know. It is an airlift three piece setup. We split the air capacity up into four separate uh, single gallon tanks. Yeah. So instead of having, you know, a single four gallon, we did four single one gallons, right? Yeah. Those are connected by hard lines and like a circle formation. We also mix it with a JL audio sound system. But I like the airline you did. I'm going through the box, the speaker box. Yeah, that was that cool. Was, that's, that's crazy. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. If you look in the trunk, you'll see two JLW7s. Right between them, you'll see some hard lines coming in and out of the box. So it looks like it kind of flows from the exterior inside the audio and out. Because you want to bring both worlds together, the audio and the air suspension, so it, it works together. It looks really nice in there. Guys, did you um, think of that? Yeah, it's great, man. All JLHD amps. I mean, you took the amplifiers, you had in-track powder coat them, right? So they match the cherry red that you had going on, you know, it was really beautiful. Yeah, it looks great, dude, absolutely. The tanks are the same color as the amps, yes. polished hard lines. It's dope, dual compressors, yes. you know, very cool. That's also Bluetooth selectable three-piece, you can control the car off the cell phone also. Black suede. Everything. Black suede, yeah, black suede. We reached cool. out to Chucho, he was the one I was able to get him wrapped up. Right, there you go, my man Chucho from Proline, dude. Awesome right there. Yeah. So he wrapped up everything for us. Did a phenomenal suede, suede job. And the roof. I yeah, mean, dude, the roof has Starlight Headliner. Yeah. Did Proline do this for you too? No, uh, <clears throat> Illusions. 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 Okay, J at Illusions. So Illusions, dude, another like Queen's Good legend show. shop right there. Absolutely, so that's great. So it's really nice. There's a lot of people that came together, like Illusions, Proline, Custom Shop, SNR, like. Legacy, yeah. like all these dudes, you know what I mean? In track, absolutely. So it's really nice to see, you know, everybody have a hand in something and make mm -hmm. it, you know, as beautiful it's as good it team. is. Really good cool, team, good team effort. That's good I for New York. I try to get everybody involved because I know everybody, you know? So, right. And everybody, like, I like everybody, everybody likes me. Absolutely. I'm patient with everything, like, right. so I try to get everybody involved in the car, like, to make it nice. I want a car, I want a nice car. Absolutely, that's what but it's all about. it's over here that it came together. Nice, right. The custom shop, it came together. Kind of put like the finishing touch yes. on it, you know, for sure. Everything That's why we reached out to you. Thanks, man. You know, you can handle that, it, man. Dude, you thank you, guys. dude. It was, it was a long no, time no, coming, bro, and like, just really happy to do it. I think it was just really nice to have someone who was like so free-flowing with it, like, yo, this is kind of what I'm looking for, but take your own like, you know, artistic approach to it, yeah, like do what I you got to do. Do it was really nice. Want, whatever you had, just do it, go with it. Nice. I just give a little small ideas. Right, of you, course. And you run with it, like. Thanks, man, I appreciate that. I think, you know, that that's definitely important to have that, like, you know, half and half the communication, yeah. you know, and like, just let me rock a little bit, but say, hey, you know, steer in this direction. Like, I want this style, I want this. And it comes out great that way, man. It's awesome, you know. I was really, really happy to do it. Um, what's really cool, too, is all that auxiliary stuff, like all your underbody lighting, interior lighting, the console we have to talk about, oh, yeah, the lighting the there. It's all run off a second battery, so we have a dual battery setup. Now we do a shitload of these for like trucks, Toyota Tacomas, the Jeep Wranglers, the guys who are out in like the field that need to like, you know, run all this crazy shit off their second battery, right? We never really did it to like a BMW, you know? Sometimes when we do audio, we run separate batteries and stuff. But um, this is really cool because you have that second battery specifically to run all this great stuff while you're at a car show. And the initial battery does not get any pull from it. So if this battery, you know, does happen to die, it's on there for hours and, you know, it finally drains, it won't skip over to the first battery, he still has that to initially start the car and get where he's going. Once the car's running, the alternator's going, it'll recharge that second battery, it has an isolator in there, so it's able to, you know, send the signal that you way. You got the, the battery gauge. Yeah, install. we have a dual battery gauge, which is cool. So if you look in the console, there's actually two digital gauges there representing each one of those batteries, so you can check the capacity, how much voltage is there, see it dropping down, like, as you have your stuff on. So, you know, I think that's pretty cool. The charging yeah. thing you put? Um, right, we have a couple of hookups for battery tenders. So, you know, if he has a car stored and he wants to keep everything, you know, stable, then he can hook up to a battery tender. Uh, if he's a car show, he can do the same also. So I thought that was very, very important, you know. If you're doing all this stuff, you want to make sure you're safe. You don't want to be like that guy at a car show, like, yeah. you can't start and like, bruh, start me up. And like, jump starting BMWs, like, you know, it's like... You don't like, want to do it. Right, you know what I mean? Yeah, you just want to keep her going, you know. <laughs> but if the charging system's correct and you have the right stuff in there, she should last a while, dude, you know, for sure, you know, so, you know, keep it on the tender, the you'll be straight. Center console came up, like, perfect. Center console is sick, another custom aspect, a custom headlight, custom wide body, custom headliner, now you have the center console. Center console was cool. You wanted to incorporate, like, some bottles and, like, just, like, luxury style stuff, and we were like, you know what, let's do it. The center console was, like, perfect for that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, on it. Yeah, that was cool, Sean, so Sean had a great part in this, too, so I work with Sean, you guys definitely know Sean if you've been down to the shop. He works with me in the front. He is the owner of Proform Vinyl. 
So he's got his own vinyl company. He's doing really good. We're very proud of him. You know, we needed to be able to cut graphics here at the shop. We like had a big like demand for that. Whether we're doing stuff like this on your car, or, like just painting some calipers, we need some decals, or making a roll call, or sponsors, or doing a livery. So like you know, we uh, got Sean set up and uh, he started a business. He's doing great. So he's been doing a lot of stuff for Legacy also, the shirts yeah, and everything. He's taking he's been care of the t-shirts, you know? um, <coughs> our vinyl stick, our banners. He was the only one who right. actually was able to do what I wanted. I yeah, dude, it, the friggin' logo. Great. Like, it, this shirt is fucking gorgeous, by the way. This thing is awesome. Like, look at the shirt, dude. Look how sick this is. This is fire, dude. I wore this with a pair of, like, what do they call them? Infrared, were they? Or Solar Red Air Max 95, the matches shirt five. Even from the banner itself, yeah, the Forge, a lot of people said the lettering couldn't be done. It was too too hard, too difficult. Right. I brought it to Sean, he's like, no problem. You know, literally like 10 minutes. Dude, he'll he's sit there and like man. adjust the he's blade phenomenal. angle and like, oh he'll get in there to make sure that shit happens. So, he's phenomenal. you know, that's, that's what it's all about. You know, I think the way he runs his business, the way I run mine, Danny, you want to make sure that, that you see it through and do the right thing because that's what it's all about. That's what makes a difference, you know. Customers. So he's been doing really good. But dude, that console is fire. Shout out to, shout out to Anand. Yeah. He did a great job yeah. on that, man. He made a great center console. So you have like, um, Two like what is it vodka or something like yeah, that like two vodka, vodka bottles. Sean made like a an M you know performance with the M the M logo and a frosted glass. We stuck it on the bottle so it illuminates. Ashtray. Ashtray glass. Couple glasses. Cigars. cigars and a seven inch monitor. Yes. That's connected to the Pioneer. Ice that's in bucket. The, right, ice bucket. Ice. Very cool. Ice. Yes, ice that doesn't melt. It's magic. Holy <laughs> shit. It's like it's legacy ice. It doesn't melt. So. Um, and on the side of the consoles, you have like RGB, like ambient lighting too, so you get that cool glow yeah. from there also, which is selectable from uh, RF controller. I think. Yo, the roof container. Um, this is so a great cool. idea. So this is a Thule Alpine, a lot bigger than we thought, but it's fucking dope. So like, we was looking at it, we was like, yeah, it's gonna be too big. Dude, they didn't even want to ship this thing. Yeah. They were like, bro, like it's too big. So like, right. I, dude, I, it was nuts. So we got it. Yeah, sea sucker are the mounts. These are great, man. These are literally suction cup mounts. So Thule makes great roof racks, but in your situation. It's ceramic coated. Shout out to Ryan. Great job out there, dude, for sure. Um, you know, you don't want to be like clamping shit to it, dude. And the cars yeah. are super clean, you know? So seat suckers are great. It's a suction cup, strong as hell. Sticks right to the top. Takes you two seconds to take Takes it you off. two seconds, dude. And um, you stick it down and you throw your container up there. It looks great. And you had SNR paint it a uh, color match to the body. Yes. Which I think looks great. So, Greg, with the car like this, all modified, beautiful as it is, I'm sure you're going to be hitting a lot of car shows this season, right? Yes. I'm actually from tomorrow night, I'm leaving. Everything got to be done in this car. Where are you going tomorrow? Slammed enough in New Jersey. Slammed enough in New Jersey. Three and a half hour drive. Dope. All kinds of cars? Yeah. All awesome. Time. I'm Hell eating yeah. Legacy Boot. Nice. So, Dan, you're going to have a booth there. going to have a booth there. Advertising um, and everything. Advertising, showing the, the, the showcase of the wheels. Um, Greg's car is one of the main cars in there. Chucho from Proline. His, nice. his Affinity got also my boy with a, with a crazy Dodge Charger. And um, they got a few other cars sporadic throughout the show. So, nice. so if people want to check these cars out, they can check you out on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Check out all the cars yeah. in there. Greggy39, Legacy Forge. Very nice, man. Got a lot oh, of shows. Awesome. We're going to be doing to a lot of shows this year. Pretty much the top top shows and stuff like that. Try to get Greg and, and the brand. Nice, man. Stuff. Hell yeah, man. What what else is I know First Class Fitment is eventually coming up. It's coming right? up in October. It's, it's like in fight. the fall time, right? Yeah, it's the last show. Last First Class Fitment awesome ever. show, right? So That's like we, the way to go out for the year, yeah. that show. You got to make sure Greg can make it a consecutive year, which I feel he will, especially with these mods done now. Yeah, you were there last year yeah. with the car. Yeah. He made it in last year. I saw some cool photos, like fucking airplanes Roscoe and shit. Here. Roscoe was there, killed it. Absolutely, LA. Shout out to LA. He did some damage over there. Roscoe always kills it. That's why. Absolutely, man. That's Scrape, scrape, the whole scrape. Shout out to Scrape, dude. Yeah. Miko, Absolutely, Miko man. and the guys. They, they just won like brothers. a team award too, I think yeah. recently, yeah. right? Yeah. Hell yeah, congratulations so to those that's guys. That's our family. Awesome. We, we all been down with them for a really long time. So those they, cars are awesome, dude. I, like they have, they had a great meet at like what? Um, Forest Park? Forest Park. Yeah. Recently, they do a barbecue right? like, coming up. They got one coming out, up. right? Mm -hmm. They got more. Yeah. Do I know we have to. Absolutely. I talk to I talk to the dude through you know all the time through through the IG. We've been talking about it, doing something with scrape, like really cool, scrape really custom cool shops. Guys, so you know what I mean? For sure. Dude, the cars are beautiful. Absolutely. Part That's awesome. Game. What um any new mods coming up and Yo, different plans? After, I mean, after the season, it's coming right back over here. <laughs> it's nice. Hell I'm yeah. Do road cage. Fuck um, yeah, dude. Racy delete. Uh, Two racing, racing buckets. Seats in the front. Hell yeah, Greg. Couple of other small stuff you're gonna do. Obviously, I'm keeping my interior. By yeah, the way, safe. keep that on the side. You never get one again. Right. So this is like, so a few of these E39s came out. Red and black interior, black and blue, yep. black and silver. Right. So yep. these are rare. Like they're a two-tone seating, 
And it's like an ostrich print. Yes. Right? And yes. this is what makes the, the so unique. It's so rare because the production yeah. number on it, the combination of the white paint. There's three. There's three. That's it. With the black and red interior. So that's pretty dope. Absolutely, man. Listen, dude, I'm you know, super happy to have you guys, man. I Thank love you what you're doing with the wheels, dude. I love your Thank car. You, I appreciate man. you know you coming to the shop. No I problem. appreciate you having us build the car. We're super honored to put something like this out stuff, there. You know? so. Thanks, man. We try, dude. I mean, we're four, well, we four and a half years in the game. We're fairly young as far as like New York City shops go. We try really hard, dude. You know, we love this stuff. We well, don't just go home and like your guy, do other you, shit. You know, you're a car guy. Yeah, yeah. To the, that's to the like, I respect that. Like, yeah. I know when I bring my car over here, it's safe. Thanks, like, man. Everything. I will have to worry about it again. It's scratch. Right. Thing. It's tight corners, but yeah. like we try, but like for sure. Like but the yeah. first time I brought my car over here when I first met you, I saw cars in the shop all taped up. You guys working on it? Yeah, you a have lot to, of shop, dude. A lot of shop doesn't do that, but. Yeah, dude, we have all this like transfer paper and stuff or fender guards. And, like mm -hmm. you gotta cover this stuff. Cause like, you know what is you see, like me in my position, like I see how many cars a day, how many cars a week, you know? Mm -hmm. So for someone in my position, it's easy to be like, oh, it's just a car, it's just a car. Well, like that one car to that one person is like everything to that person. Yeah, so like yeah. for me, I see a million cars. All right, great. You know what I mean? But that's that one car for that person. So you have to constantly think like, you know, this guy doesn't have like five other cars. Like treat it with respect. This is someone's pride and joy, you know, just because. Obviously, spend a lot of know. money on your car. Yeah, you know? dude, you know, absolutely. I think it's the right thing to do, yeah, you know? When Greg yeah. reached out to me about doing a trunk setup and doing music, I said, if you definitely want a crazy trunk setup with Air Ride, I said, yo, we gotta go to Family Brett. That's why I brought him over here. Thanks, him over. I mean, the rest he went crazy on, but I said, yo, he's in, you're in good hands. I know you for years. Well, we kicked it off the first day. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we, we went in. You guys well, some of the car guys, and you like there. fucking Especially cars. BMW, right? <laughs> yeah, I love BMW. Definitely a big fan. You know, anybody watching knows mm -hmm. that for sure. We work on all cars here. We love all cars, but... And you're an enthusiast like myself. I take pride in doing my stuff too, so Dude, it worked it's, out. It's, it's a good lifestyle, man. It's mm -hmm. awesome. I try to tell customers, you try to be like car guy first, like business guy second. You know, you try mm -hmm. to do it like that. Mm -hmm. But sometimes you got to be business guy first, you know. But listen, watch out for Greg on the show circuit. Check him out on IG, Greggy39. Check out my man Danny, Legacy Forge, man. We're super happy to work with you guys. And uh, more projects in the future, yo. Yep. Right? Cheers to that, homie. Yo, Greg, <laughs> the man right there. Don't drink and drive, bro. <laughs>